Hey everyone! So I had a lot of people liking when I did this on Facebook and I just thought I would recreate it and make an actual video. I did like a one palette eyeshadow look. This is the Addiction 4 palette from Unique. These are the, the colors that are in this palette. Um, it's kind of like a shimmery, two browns, a bronze, a light shimmery blue, a gray blue, and then a blacky blue. Um, this is the kit, the palette that comes in the presenter's kit. Basically, I did one whole face look just using that palette other than my foundation. So I did do my foundation and my concealer, so I'll go ahead and still do that. But I thought I would do actually a different eyeshadow look this time. Um, last time I used the blues for the eyeshadow, and this time I think I'm going to use the bronzy tones. So... We will just go ahead and get started. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and um, let me know what kind of makeup hacks you'd like to see again. This is kind of more of a makeup on a budget look. Uh, basically, I'm going to start out with my primer if I can find it. FaceTime. This, okay, this is the Touch Glorious Primer. It is really, really silky and smooth. This just fills in any... Um, kind of imperfections in your skin and just evens your whole base out so that when you apply your foundation um, then it's more even playing field and of course it will help it last as well so I'll just do that don't need a lot and oh I didn't show you it looks like a little bit it looks clear um, looks like that okay probably is weird but I always like to do this after because especially this time of year my hair is always dry so I always rub it through my hair after um, don't look at my hair I haven't done it yet today all right next thing we do is I'm going to do is the mineral touch foundation this is in the color organza you always want to shake it good and let the dropper out a couple times because just in case anything kind of settled um, since it is mineral makeup that can happen and then I'm just going to dab this is not much at all dab a little bit on my face and then we will just go ahead I, this is just a damp blending bud very similar to a beauty blender um, this is just the unique one don't ask what happened here I think one of my kids pulled it apart so I'm due for a new one I'm doing a very light kind of coverage look today. Um, if you use the foundation brush, you definitely get a lot more full coverage. Um, and also I barely, like I just tapped that on my skin. I didn't really put much on there. But it definitely is giving me a really nice, even coverage. Now that I have that, I'm going to use my Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. This is the color Scarlet. I always um, like to go up one shade concealer, especially for under my eyes, so I just dab a little bit there. I like to do kind of a V right above where my cheekbone starts, literally, like I barely touched it, like I literally went like this, and then I just patted it, like a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. This stuff is amazing. And then I'm just going to pat that out under my eye. So this is just giving me a good base to start my one palette makeup look. Whoa, garbage going by or something? Okay. So, I'm puffy. Ignore that. It's not actually dark circles. It's just puffiness and lighting. You can see. Nice and bright. Okay, so once you're done with that, you could um, do a little bit of loose powder. I um, don't generally, but I'll just do a little bit just in case because I'm using eyeshadow. Um, this is just the translucent powder. Just gonna just do my under eye. Um, the foundation dries really matte, so you don't need to um, do a powder on top. It's definitely not necessary at all. Okay, so let's get into the one palette look. Basically, we're going to start with my eyebrows, and I find it really nice to do it with an eyeshadow. So, back when I first started doing my brows, I always used an eyeshadow. I'm just getting my angled brush here. 
So this is the liner shader brush. Um, any angled brush like this should work. Or even just something that's kind of more flat. Okay. So, man, I keep itching my nose. I'm sorry. So I'm going to use this shade Arrogant here, the lighter shade. And um, you don't need a lot because, especially for me, you don't need a lot because my eyebrows are microbladed. But I'm just going to fill in. I start filling in just about half an inch past the front of my brow and then I go down the rest of my brow to the point and then I'll tap it again on the palette, do the upper part and just let those pieces connect, fill that part in. And then I always take the side of the brush like this and I go from where I started and I just bring it over like this so that the front isn't as dark. Okay, so really, really simple. It just kind of gives it a bit more clean of a look. So we'll do that to the other eye. The lighting is different on this side. I'm working on getting a makeup station set up in my house so and then again you're gonna turn it vertical and just bring it over to the front okay so that was really simple so that was just using the arrogant then we're going to go ahead and do the eyes so i'm going to use the secretive um the bronzy shade here and i'm just going to get my little blending brush and I'm going to put that, there's so many options with this palette, but I'm doing another just more basic one. Um, I'm going to just put it right in my crease, okay? A little bit on my lid, but mostly on my crease. This is a day look. I don't want some, anything too crazy, so. This is a really loose brush, so you can tell how pigmented this is that it, I'm getting that color payout just from a really um, small blending brush. So once you have something like that, you can either take a smaller brush and um, do a little bit under your eye, which I tend to like to do, just to give me a little bit more drama. Just like that. And then... Um, Next, I'm going to take the little bit of this brown color and just deep it up. So the Brave, just like lightly dabbed it, and then I'm just going to deepen this up just right in the crease, just a little bit. Oh, it's a little more than I was planning, but it's fine. We will make it work. that's even it looks darker in the light that I'm in it's not actually that dark <laughs> maybe we will move up here yeah we're gonna move up here just so you guys can really see what I'm doing it's a very informal video for you guys but wanted to throw this out here and have this for some parties that I'm doing to reference so then I'm gonna take this tender eyeshadow just the light one and I oh by the way I dusted my brush off just take tender and then just lightly go in the middle of your eye area and then right up your brow bone and you can blend it with the brown just above that so it just kind of evens it all out there And then you're going to take your either a liner shader brush again or you could take a concealer brush of some sort and take the tender again, the highlighting color, and then just gently go on your brow bone just a little bit more um, just to give it that extra 
below, okay? So that's it for the eye look. We will finish with mascara. We're going to finish with the palette first. So next thing we're going to do is our contour. So I just use like a puffy brush and I squeeze it, but you can use like a blush or a contouring brush. I just take a little bit of Brave and I just literally roll it on the brush there. And then I'm going to go right here in the crease of my, the crease of my face, but like right under my um, cheekbone there. And then right up my forehead and right here. And then I'm going to just blend that in. You can do this darker or lighter. Like you can definitely do more. I just, like I said, we're doing a day look. I'm going to Edison's um, little class soon. I don't really want to be too dolled up. And then a little bit there, a little bit here. A little bit here. And then you're going to again, blend it out. Kind of like a three. One, okay. One, two, three. Both sides. And then once you have that, you can go ahead and do the same thing with tender. So what I'm going to do is do it with my finger. I feel like I can do it a little bit more precise. So I just kind of rub that in there. And then I'm going to sweep that on my highlight right above my cheekbone. Sorry guys, I'm using my middle finger. the perfect sheen for a highlight in this palette. I love it. I think a lot of people are scared of this palette because of the blues. The first time I did this um, one eyeshadow palette look, I used the blue gray eyeshadow and I think people realized how pretty it can look. Um, there, It does show off almost more like a gray tone. So yeah, you're just going to do the top of your nose, your forehead, your chin, anywhere you want the light to hit. So I don't know if you can see how pretty that looks. But um, I love it. And then I'll just kind of go like that to blend that out a little bit more. And then we're just going to curl my eyelashes and finish with mascara. My pink eyelash curler. My eyelashes are getting so long, you guys. I've been using the lash serum and I cannot get over how long they're getting. I don't know if you can see. They're just so blonde. <laughs> um... All right, so we are going to use the Epic Mascara because this is a day look and I don't think we need too much drama. This is what the wand looks like. It's just a one-step mascara and you're just gonna go ahead and apply that. I usually comb my lashes out first because I do the serum at night and I find sometimes they can feel a little sticky in the morning but I didn't comb them out, so we might deal with a clump here. So that's just one coat there. Dip it again, go to this eye. And then I just like to quickly do your lashes. So basically all you'd need is like your um, foundation and your mascara and then one palette, this palette or a palette similar to this. A lot of palettes have a lighter shade and some brown so you could definitely do your brows um, and your highlight with those. And then you could also do your eyeshadow. So really this was like a super simple basic look. I did it in 13 minutes talking it through. Um, if I wasn't talking I probably could have done it in five. I'm just going to finish off with my favorite lipstick of the moment. This is the, if it's in here, oh no it's in my purse. Mm. I'm just going to finish with the Hottie Lip Plumper. That's the kudos for this month, okay? I was going to use the Spry Liquid Lipstick. Um, has this beautiful bronzy color. Yeah, if you have any questions about any of the products, let me know and I will have my website linked down below as well if you wanna check anything out. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.